everybody. Uh, we're on day nine of the 100 day challenge. And yes, it just occurred to me last night. I thought day nine of 100 days. <laughs> what have I gotten myself into? <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, today I thought I want to make a few envelopes for to have handy for um, some journals. I don't normally do a lot of stuff in advance, um, but I'm trying to to do more of this because it's just going to make it it's going to make my life easier. So I've just got some book pages. Um, these are out of there's a couple of Edith Holden and I can't recall what book that is, but it's nice thick paper because that way I don't have to double it up if I use the. Um, vintage paper, um, you know, like really thin book pages. Sometimes I'll do maybe even three to four, um, but this, these are nice and thick, so I'm just, and what I've chosen is the ones that are just wording, because um, I think these will make a really nice background. And I'm going to do some sewing. I know that much. Um, like, this isn't going to be a tutorial, really, guys. This is just uh, me finding a, a few minutes craft time. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to have to uh, stop the, the video when I go over to the machine. So I kind of think that would be nice on the back. Oh, I do love these Edith Holden um, book pages. They're beautiful. So yeah, I'm just going to do some stitching around this. I really like to see a lot of stitching. So I will do that and then we will carry on embellishing this. <clears throat> so I hope everybody's week has started off uh, good for them. I've been very, very busy on my um, latest journal and after this <clears throat> I will be doing a flip through, so if you're interested in seeing my uh, latest design team top project for RE Mays, uh, stay tuned because it will probably take a while for me to upload. It's going to be a long one, I can already tell, because it's a big journal. It's five signatures, so, um, so it might take a while after you see this um, video before that pops up, but be sure and hit the bell and, and you'll be notified as soon as I've added that. Okay guys, this is where I'm going to have to, sh to shut off, go to my machine and I'll be back. Hey guys, okay so here we are, I've done the stitching around these. So these are all ready to start working on and <clears throat> I don't really know for sure what I'm going to do with them, but start by uh, Inking them up, and then let's see. I do love these pages, aren't they beautiful? try a different color because this crumb cake isn't really showing up very well so let me sit that over <clears throat> I think these ink pads that my my Tim Holtz I think are starting to get to run out I, I don't know if I bought these um, 
long time back and I've never re-inked them. It's probably just worth me going ahead and just getting a new ink pad because I don't know if you can easily get the re-inkers for those to be honest. I'm just going to go ahead and ink all of them, I think, and then we'll move on to just uh, decorating. I hope I can get this all done in one go, but I'm not sure that I can. It's a slow process, all these embellishments, <coughs> as you ladies know. And, as we all are aware, everything takes three times as long when you're trying to <clears throat> film it. <laughs> so, I don't know, I guess you, you're just always conscious of the camera, and I guess it makes you a bit nervous, maybe. Just aren't as uh, quick about it when you're trying to do it this way, but... I'm trying to get more comfortable with these videos. I think some people, it, it just, they seem very natural um, that are on, on YouTube, but I don't feel that way at all. It's, um, not something I really am comfortable with, but it has to be done, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, I'm pretty happy with those. I can always, well, that one's a little bit, I can always go back and add it a bit later. Okay, so what are we going to do with them now? Let's start by going ahead. I'm going to do some... Um, little tabs. This is pretty sturdy, so let me just try to punch out. I really, this is a one inch punch, and I really wish, I need to check with somebody at Stampin' Up! and see, because I love Stampin' Up! punches, but I, th I think I need a three quarter or even a half inch, and I do not like those ones you get at the, um, the shops. Oh goodness, they're terrible. Actually, you know what? I'm going to du double these up. They're not very uh, <clears throat> thick. Okay, uh, here we go. Back to the Fabri-Tac. Yikes. just because I want these to um, dry quick so we can do this all on this video. Oh, I must catch up on my um, YouTube videos. I've been, uh, I'm, I've got so many people I'm subscribed to, and I feel bad because uh, I just don't have enough time to keep up with everybody. But gosh, I'd like to have a <clears throat> chance to do some uh, watching, because I know a lot of people are posting. I've seen so many notifications, but I just haven't had time. Seems like life just is... Instead of slowing down, I guess it just feels to me like it's getting busier and busier. And it's really odd because, you know, when you're younger, people at the age I am now, <laughs> well, we, we thought they were old, um, I don't know. It, it just, you know, it's a very different world very different world now, and uh, I wish it would slow down. I really, really do. I probably should let these sit a bit longer, guys, but I just, I 
think I'm going to have to carry on. I want to get this on there and then I'm going to start embellishing. That's not going to be dark enough. Let's see if I can roll it there. Okay, let me get another pad. Let me try this one to see if it'll show up a bit better. Um, yeah, I, I feel like... I just don't feel like I've got time to, to do everything that I want to do or need to do. And it's really frustrating. I don't know if any of you feel that way, but I don't know. <clears throat> All of this social media sometimes I think is a bit of a curse because you don't really realize, I think, how long you're on here. And, uh, man, I just, uh, like I said, I just feel like the, the days are just zooming by and I'm really... The, the things that are important, I just, I don't know, I feel like I'm not able to do it, to do it all, and it's, it gets you down, it, it really can get you down. Okay, so I've got that where I want it, I hope, <laughs> um, and then I'm going to just get a brad through there, try to use up some of these copper ones. It's rare that I use the copper, but I've got to give it a try and see how I like it. And I'll come back and maybe cover that up afterwards. Yeah, happy with that. So that's fine. I'll, I'll just get those on there, and then we're going to carry on with the embellishing. Um, but yeah, I don't know if any of you are feeling that way, but it's quite frustrating because um, I really thought at this point in my life <clears throat> I'd start winding down but it every year just seems to get more and more busy and um, I don't know I really don't know if it's ever gonna be a point where you're sitting on the porch in a rocker gosh that sounds perfect I'd love to do that But maybe it comes back to the fact, maybe we're never satisfied. Maybe if you if you are sitting on a porch in a rocker, maybe you're thinking, gosh, I want to be out doing things. <laughs> I suppose that's probably human nature. Always want what we can't have. I'm wondering now, now that I've committed to this, I should have maybe come back and did, uh, did something underneath. Oh, well. I'm, I can always change that because it's not glued on. So if I if I get, at the end if I feel like I'm not happy with this, I'll I'll take these out and put something decorative under there. So we've had. Um, some unseasonably warm weather here it, um, for <coughs> March, and now we're into April. It's turned cold again, so that's thrown everything off on the plans to get a garden started. We've, we've bought some plants, and we're, we're shuffling them between the garage, and um, when it warms up, we take them back out, water them. So yeah, it's a little bit of a nightmare at the moment, but that's usually the way March and April go. So, I was going to see if I wanted to add a little bit of, look at that coloring on that. That's so pretty, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I think I might add just a little bit of this just for... A variation against that other and it should make it look um, it'll make it a little bit sturdier as well so that might be quite nice this is where I really got to get back out and get my glue sticks and I really like for this kind of thing I prefer glue sticks to um, 
liquid glue because it, oh gosh, are you going to work today? No, no, no. Because yeah, it'll kind of bubble the paper, this liquid stuff. And I'm heavy handed on my glue. You guys have probably already spotted that, gosh. I think that's why I'm going through so much of that liquid um, Fabri-Tac. That's pretty. So yeah, I've had a couple of ladies <coughs> ask me what this challenge is about. And I, I'm sure there's a lot more to it maybe. I don't know. But there's a site you can you can just Google it if you guys are interested in knowing a bit more because I'm no expert. I just um, have seen a lot of stuff coming through Instagram. And, and then there was a woman on um, YouTube that had a lot of views. I can't remember her name, but you can put the 100-day project, and she's the first video that comes on, and she explained it, and I think she's, <coughs> excuse me, participated in, her, in it for a couple of years, I think it's been going, maybe longer, I don't, I don't know, but, um, so if you're curious about it, you know, just do some research, because um, I just, you know, kind of, I always kind of scan things and get the highlights and then go on, which is why I'm forever in trouble, because I never read th things completely. Let's <laughs> go ahead and sign off on it. I really should take more time. Okay. I like that. But I think I should have... Uh, okay, let me see. I thought I might use... I've got some leftover images from things, and I thought it might be kind of fun just to add those here and there. So let's do that. Actually, you know what? i got a little bit of cheesecloth. Let me see if I can put a bit of that under there. Yeah, I'm, right. I'm going to take that out, guys. I'm going to put, I think, a bit more um, music paper across there, maybe, and kind of collage. Let's keep an eye on the time, too. Oh yeah, I like that much better. Don't you think? Yeah, that looks a lot better. I'm, I'm pleased with that. So, I'm getting this back over here. some of this twine. Let's see how much I'll need for this. <laughs> yeah, 
when I get get this on here, I'll put a bit of glue under there to hold that in nice. So I'll cut that there. It might be a bit much. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, I don't know. That might make it difficult to get it off, wouldn't it? Hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to think, figure out a way I can have a um, a little bow. Okay. Okay. Never mind. We will just wrap it around there and. So there we go. I can. I might come back with some of my really nice pieces of lace and just put another little thing, maybe a small tag. Well, let me just go ahead and do it because I may not be able to do all of those today, but it'll at least give you an idea of what I'm going to carry on doing. Let me see what I've got, guys. Okay, yeah, I was gonna. I, the, the, what I was debating was whether to stitch a uh, button inside that, but I'm not going to. Okay. Let me grab a. Um, I've got some tiny tags down here. I must cut some more of these out with some of my leftover papers maybe today. I like to have these handy. That way I can just grab it and, and stamp what I want on there. Let's see if I can Again, see what I want to use this time. Wish I like that. I'll put that on there. You know what? I'm going to use the espresso. This for words, this one really stamps out nice, sharp images. So you can see. Okay, now I need a little. Um,
Okay guys, so there we go. That's what I'm working on today. So I'm going to, um, because my SD card is almost full, I'm going to shut you guys down. I'm going to finish the other ones and I'll be back to show you all three of these complete. Be back soon. Okay guys, uh, welcome back. Here are the completed ones. This was the first one that we did. And then I created this one. I really like how these have come out. And uh, I'll do that one last. This one I found probably shouldn't put lace because that's bunched it up. I'm not, not keen on that. But other than that, I'm happy with that. I like adding a bit of color to it. I think that that's, that's really nice. And then the last one is this one. And it's a shame. Um, this is using the leftover from Artie Mays. It's a shame that the flaps covered up. I should have probably, pin, you know, positioned it before I glued that down. But anyways, I'm really delighted with those, how those have come out. So this one's going to go into the Flower Girl Journal. And like I said, I'm going to upload that just as soon as I get um, this video. I will film the next one. So... Okay, guys, that is my day nine project for the uh, 100 day challenge. Hope it's inspired you guys to jump in and join it because um, it's it is fun. It's you know there is some pressure to it, but I think it's good. So hope you've enjoyed it, um, and I'll see you guys here soon. Bye.